Hi, I'm James and welcome to our independent review of the Suntec Ultra-V Pro Mini Solar Panel Series. Today, we're focusing on the 440 watt bifacial solar panel. And if you're considering this panel for your home or business, please stick around as we're going to dive into its strengths, its weaknesses, and what sets it apart from others in the market. To give you a bit of uh, an overview of the company, SunTech Power has been a significant player in the solar industry, and that's since 2001. It was founded by Dr. Zhang Rong Shi, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, when SunTech quickly rose to prominence, it became one of the largest solar panel manufacturers globally in 2011. SunTech has manufactured over 24 gigawatts of solar in over 100 countries, despite some financial challenges in early 2010. And now in 2024, it continues to be a well-respected and significant player in the industry. The ownership now has changed to Shunfeng International Clean Energy Limited. That is an also internationally recognized name brand in the clean energy space. Let's talk about some of the key features in the SunTech Ultra-V Pro Mini Series. This is a bifacial or glass-to-glass -glass solar module with an impressive maximum efficiency rating of 22.5%. This places it amongst some of the highest performing panels on the market, especially in the 440 watt power output range. Please check out our other video on bifacial solar panels to understand the technology itself. Uh, it's definitely worthwhile. When it comes to the dual-sided glass construction, one notable feature is the 1.6 millimeter uh, glass used on both sides of this panel. So the cells uh, are a little bit lighter and easier to handle, particularly during installation, than some of those slightly heavier, slightly thicker glass panels that you see elsewhere on the market. This slightly uh, thinner glass may make the panel more susceptible to damage from hail or other impacts, which is definitely something to consider depending on your location and the weather conditions where you live. Now, the SunTech uh, panel that we have here performed extremely well in the PV Evolution Labs Top Performer category. It was named Top Performer in five out of seven testing categories. It should be noted that the SunTech bifacial solar panel did perform well in the hail testing, um, but that was up till the testing started to exceed 40 millimeters in diameter. When it gets to those larger hailstones, it is definitely a factor um, even in the top performing PV Labs tests. Now let's look at the warranty. It's got a solid warranty package with 25 years of product warranty for defects and 30 years for performance. This is slightly longer than what you typically see in the market with performance uh, degradation rate of only 0.4% per year. And, and that's after the first year. So by the end of your 30 year period, you can expect to see the panel still producing around 87.4% of its original capacity. This is really strong and uh, should really be looked at closely when comparing to some of the competitors out there. So let's continue diving into the pros and cons. If we break down uh, the panel in terms of the most important factors uh, as far as we see it, it's the fact that it has this high efficiency rate at 22.5% and it competes really well against other top or rather high-end competitors in the space. So the bifacial design has the ability to capture sunlight on both sides of the panel and if you've got the right roof and the right installation conditions, you'll see an increase in that energy yield. Another great factor is that SunTech does have local offices in Australia, uh, their head office being situated in Sydney. So if you do need to make a warranty claim or you need some of that technical support, you can reach out to their local office. While it does make for lighter installation, uh, that glass of just 1.6 millimeter thickness is thinner than the standard two millimeter uh, used in other bifacial panels. So it does make it potentially more prone to damage. That would really be something to look at on the con side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this uh, informative and interesting. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share and hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.